might be a hair too loud. There we go. Looks like we're not clipping now. There. Let's get the old stream of him. Get ourselves in mod view. Find my bar. Let's see. Yep, live, buddy. We live. We have gone live. Got to update the commands. Because we're using a totally different setup than Friday. Totes. Eight. What's up, man? How you been? Updated the, the gear commands. What's good is, uh, man, we've been making progress, getting follows, getting subs. Getting cheers. We actually got a, um, a significant, a non, well, anonymous donation as well. to upgrade stuff for the stream so pretty soon I should be buying a new camera and and then working on a like a new computer uh, other stuff like that so got to figure out how I want to probably want to build the computer I would imagine but, um, I can probably build a pretty pretty killer desktop for for re, for this for pretty reasonable money, relatively speaking. But um, I'm gonna get some get like a secondary camera or two as well. Uh, absolutely. I used to use PriceWatch.com, but the last few times I tried to use it, it seems like it's been down. So I don't know if that site's gone or what. Like for all the previous computers I've built. Hmm. 
That's a thought. Or maybe if you wanted to build a keyboard or something like that for your stream. Speaking of your stream, when are you going to do it, man? I'm going to ask you every time. Be sure to let us know, like let us know here in chat and then we'll, we'll, we'll hop over. I could even, I could raid you if I could figure out how. I don't actually know how to do it, but. But uh, one thing, so like gonna get it like a, a, a one camera to do like wide shot like this, you know, but if I get a better one that can shoot a little higher resolution, it can obviously get a little bigger, bigger scene, but we're just gonna get, or looking at getting like a, a secondary, at least one secondary camera to do just like close up of guitar and hands so I could like fade into that like if especially if we're working on something you know like an exercise or something on a chart or tab or something being able to like zoom in to hand level I think would be cool and maybe useful What do you guys think about doing, you know, asking in the Discord for, for ideas, uh, you know, for, for like special streams. Let's say we hit like, you know, 20, we're, so we got 20 subs coming up. If we hit 20 subs, you know, do like a special theme stream for that of some kind. Or doing just like random one-offs, doing like, you know, 80s night or something like that, or even a week. I mean, if we go by the decade, we could certainly get more than a single stream out of it. Um, <laughs> So I was thinking about things like that, kind of mixing it up. Because um, I think we've got kind of a good a good structure now. We have some core days that seem to be pretty successful, but I'm, I'm definitely open to kind of trying some different things. I don't know if I should add more days. I worry that it might be too much. No one has requested video game themes. No one has requested Doom themes. I was also thinking I've got tons and tons and tons of projects like guitar projects that need you know need anything ranging from just like restrings and setups to to wiring stuff worked on to part replacements and things like that um, when I get the when I get these extra cameras when I get these extra cameras um, would there be any interest in doing like setting one up like overhead and like watching, you know, me do restrings and setups and other, that, that kind of stuff, technical stuff like repairs and maintenance and mods and things. I need to get a better, my soldering iron is about bought it, so I'll need to get a better one of those, but if that's the kind of thing that interests people, then it's something that I would definitely be, be happy to add to the stream. Maybe do like Saturday afternoons or something, Saturday or Sunday afternoons when there's nothing going on. Those will have to be 18 plus streams though. Now, the closest micro center is about 
probably about 35 minutes away, depending, well, traffic's not bad right now, but I haven't gone anywhere since March, basically. crunch channel of this preamp. Drive it a little boost. Sort of near total line. It's across from the Brazilian bakery. like cranks that low end. Really like to get one, I really want to get one of the stations, you know, that has where you can actually control the temperature, adjust the temperature and you have like, you know, spots for all of your different, uh, all your different points. <laughs> Dude, it's not even, it's not even that, like, Quarter inch, a quarter inch of that cake is like a pound. You're like a tenth of an inch of that cake. Oh yeah, dude, a hot air rework would be amazing because then I could work on work on pedals a lot more easily. A lot of the little PC board pedals and SMD stuff. There was this one. I saw this one really awesome one that was on Amazon that was like. It was expensive. It was probably like two or three hundred bucks, but it had the, the soldering station and a hot air rework gun or wand or whatever built in. And you could store all the different tips and you could do all kinds of everything. It had like a ton of control. You could go from like a really low temperature, which seems pointless to me. I don't know what you would use a super low temperature on your soldering iron for all the way up to like 800 degrees or something crazy. Because you need to be seven or eight hundred or seven hundred at least if you really want to work on guitar stuff and not you know burn your pots up or having to leave the freaking iron on them. What's up, height? Did you finish your work finally? Or are you still at work now? I think it goes down to like four hundred or something. It's adjustable from like from like four hundred to eight hundred, I think. ECG, I'll look it up, ECG, JSSD1, a day off, let's see, oh wow, that's 200 to 450. That's probably perfectly normal. I mean, that's that's certainly usable. But usually when you're like soldering pots and stuff like that, you want one that gets crazy hot so you can just like instantly dot dot because a lot of times you're working with big nasty solder blobs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with that that red Schecter. That's why I haven't been playing it on stream. It's got it's got a ground issue. You know, I, I took it apart, pulled the pickups and rewired it, but it's got this ground issue I just can't get rid of, so I'm gonna have to like clean the pot basically or just get a whole new pot, but let's see if I can salvage what's on there. But the uh the ground blob for the star ground on that pot 
is so tough and so brutal that my old iron can't get through it. But you know, there were a couple, I think one of the ones I was looking at was like a, a Hako or Hako, I don't know how you pronounce their name. So maybe they're in the sound finish or something like that. But it goes up to, I think, like eight or 900 degrees, something like that. Which don't need to get it that hot, but you definitely want to be up to, to six or seven. I'd, I'd definitely buy it from somewhere legit. I looked, I searched for soldering irons on Amazon. It was wild because you'd see like, a, you'd see the same iron that's supposed to be like four or 500 bucks for like, you know, $120 and you get kind of suspicious. But hype, I was telling, uh, I was, I was mentioning earlier, I mentioned earlier that we got a, an anonymous or a, a, a significant donation from someone who prefers to remain anonymous, which I'm really grateful for, uh, in order to like buy a camera, a better camera for the stream and to build a PC and some other essentials for the stream. So if you get some free time and you want to, you want to chat about PC building, start looking around at some of our requests. I mean, I don't know, dude, I, 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 I knew you were going to say that, but can we make Linux work for, for what we need to do, you know, for streaming software and recording software? talk about it. Quit. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't want to edit my message. Come back here. Yeah, like maximizing maximizing connectivity is probably going to be a big one. Um, you know, we want enough. We're going to want enough power and the ability to to handle the broadcasting software uh, stuff coming in. You know, like the cameras are going to have hooked up. Uh, we really want to do recording software too, because I was thinking another thing we could do uh, is actually like write things, write and record things on stream. You know, and make like stream songs. <laughs> You know, demonstrate like, okay, this is how we write a, a whatever type of song, you know, or develop an idea. Or, you know, even just record covers of things, if that's what people are into. Uh, and maybe occasionally do special streams for gaming, too, you know. Like I was talking about last time, if we could set ourselves up a server or some goofy game where we can all go, go screw around and stream it. All right, what shall we do? Disposable heroes. Should just play Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> 
Alec, have you played Dwarf Fortress? If you haven't played Dwarf Fortress, don't talk smack about Dwarf Fortress. Let's see. We need a little more. <laughs> Find the Discord. Yeah, it's free, dude. Tis free. Bring that tone control down a little. I don't know why you would play it on Steam. Except maybe, I guess now it does have some kind of... Some kind of... Uh, some kind of multiplayer functionality now. Uh, let's just open this, open this in YouTube in the browser. That'll be easier than jumping back and forth to the Discord. I think I need a little more scoop for this. It's the thing you don't play. You're gonna yeah. If you're gonna play anything off Master of Puppets, you know they were using that Mark II C plus, and you just gotta you know you gotta take the graphic EQ and you just gotta go. Uh. The problem is, is this cut the the controls, the pots on this preamp are so touchy that if I like if I were to dial the mids all the way out, I would never find the where I had them before because like the tiniest little movement makes a big difference. <laughs> You need to turn the depth up on the power amp a little too, I think. It's a little closer. Ba ba da da ba ba da Goat of Duty? Is that is that Call of Duty but with the goat from Goat Simulator? Because I'd play that. <laughs> oh Lord. I have like I made a Steam account ten years ago. Whenever Steam I don't know, like a long time ago. When Steam was newish. And uh I don't think I've ever played anything on it or ever bought a game on it. I think I got it or made it whenever the orange box came out because like uh, orange box had some kind of special something like if you signed up for a Steam account. Yes, Alec, you can kind of finally find out about the miasma. One and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a 
Solo terrible though. Can't do it. Can't play with no mids. So it sounds like the lead guitar that's kind of coming in is playing. With those, well, he's playing essentially the same thing an octave higher up at the seventh fret, but with a wah on it. So you. Wow, wow, wow. So you got all these offset triplets. Wow. <laughs> Gotta get the timing right. <laughs> up to like a sextuplet like a like probably a 30 second note sextuplet so we've got like <laughs> count oh wait a minute forgot it should do should always do the guitar only version if it exists yeah there we go so you can just hear that all right let's see and then we'll slow it down here Thank <laughs> you. 
Keep wanting to add in an extra pick stroke there. Da dun dun da dugga dun 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 dugga. No, too many. Da dugga dun 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 dugga dun dugga dugga dun dugga dugga dun dun. to do that I keep wanting to do that that a little uh, little like 30 second note or something just a little too fast or I guess really the tempo that it's at is probably more like a 16 because if we're going about like one and one two three four 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 does it have that accent in there One and two E and 
keep on to just keep on that double up on that triplet. dude we're gonna do is you gotta get the timing right gotta get the like the exact little subdivision the exact little pattern right you can't just like slop out on it sort of the recycle like when it all starts over of uh, it's kind of it's almost like it's picking up in the middle of the pattern or where your your brain expects the accent and the pattern to be Take the time to, to be precise. scoop than that. I don't think you can even scoop the mids that far on this preamp. Do that double, you do the double like the, the quadruplet. <laughs> another quadruplet it's just another triplet or it's not a, it's not really technically a true triplet either but close <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the same kind of feel we would use to play triplets. A disposable heroes from Metallica on Master of Puppets. Gotta bring those highs down now. We're getting a little, little ringing from the springs. It's coming out. It's that coming out of the end of the cycle back into the new one. Super close, if I can get it consistent. Ah, keep on adding that extra pick there. Though. the urge to just turn it all into triplets. Get the actual tempo. Still got way too much bits. I can't get scooped enough. I can't get scooped enough to get the tone right. Seems like a graphic EQ. I used to have a graphic EQ pedal, which would be perfect for this, but I sold it because I never found myself using it. Dude, this is literally, this is the mid scooped all the way out on this thing, on this preamp. Nah, that doesn't help. I was trying to adjust the tone control on the boost a little bit. Let's see if that would get us a little more thick cut. By doing that. So then we've got this little... <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. 
So move up to the C sharp. Down, 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 down. Come up from from below. Nah, it's just a regular power chord. So it's just a C sharp power chord. So we've got this O, then five here on the on the D string. We're kind of hitting that open A in between. Then coming down to the fourth fret. start to we walk down like the minor scale or something and start to descend chromatically something to that effect <laughs> Contrast that very first one, and the it kind of pops out with a little hammer on it. But then the second one sort of falls away in the muting. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, ah come on. <laughs> to the third fret. So first time, three, two. Then down to the second fret. Second time, third fret. Then second fret on the A string, or you could come up to seventh fret on the E string. back into our C sharp. Right, then it drops down this time, so it gets a little different. Drops down to the second fret. So we cycle through that, sounds like four times. like two guitar tracks here. About an octave apart it sounds like. Thank you. 
tiny little pull off in there. A tiny little pull off. Let's back it up again. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da. down and see if we can hear that little accent. It's literally just... hammer and pull. So we're coming out of those. Too fancy. It's like a B, B, B flat, B, C, B. Nope, not going quite that low yet. Dun 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 ba dun. It's kind of chromatics thing happening. Bop. 
Is it B or is it B flat? Sounds like it might be B flat. power chord. It definitely sounds like a string cross too. It doesn't sound like it's on the same string. Today. Sometimes we do that. A little slight decelerando there too, like it slows down a tiny bit. Kind of drags a hair when we get to that part. to do it like four times. This is Metallica actually. This would be this would be a little bit before Walk, right? What album was Walk on? Walk was like 1990 or something, right? You know, Walk is like It's definitely influenced by this. Like Pantera got a lot of stuff from these dudes. This is a uh, disposable heroes by Master of Puppets. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way, dude. Yeah, 92. Some, I figured it was somewhere like early 90s. So. You can hear. So I don't know if you can hear it through the string. Can you hear that little high pitch or hear that little high pitched ring coming through? That's actually the springs ringing because I'm playing. Yeah, that kind of ping. That's actually the springs in the in the back ringing. Uh, when you start to play with a whole lot of gain. <laughs> Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a great old one. This is a, an '80s, late '80s RG760, in this beautiful heather pearl color. It's kind of like soft pearlish pink. But, uh, I mean, there are there are great Brazilian instrument makers though, like Tajima and stuff, who you should have access to in your in your domestic market. 
but that ping is coming from the springs vibrating. You can actually get rubber coated springs, like rubberized springs. So when you're playing with a ton of gain, you don't hear that coming through as much. That's just kind of a byproduct of playing with tons and tons of gain. You know, the whole system gets kind of sensitive. So we're back into this. Yeah, Ibanez is usually pretty well, has pretty wide distribution. The issue tends to be um, like the companies that handle the distribution, like the regional distribution. So whoever's do it has like the importing rights. If it's like a particular store or importer, they'll tend to crank prices way up on certain stuff. It's like that to an extent with, with amps like diesels here in the U S um, or Warwick's or at least Warwick, I think Warwick got away from them, but they had a distributor who was basically marking the stuff up close to a hundred percent. You know, diesels in Germany cost. Roughly equivalent to, like, say, Mesa's here, at, uh, but the distributor who handles the distribu distribution for them over here tax on, you know, like 60% on top of their already expensive prices. So instead of being like $3,500 amps, they can be, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollar $7,000 amps, depending on the particular model and what the distributor feels like. Or stuff, with, stuff in Australia. I have a few friends in Australia. You know, a Fender that's a thousand dollars here is like twenty five hundred bucks there, because there's one distributor or one company that handles the distribution, so they can charge whatever they want for them. So we're back into this. That little mix meter section. that again. Alright, so it sounds like we're going through this whole bit again, this whole section again. But we don't the sound we don't have the little fill this time that Uh, 
Uh, we're doing Disposable Heroes from Metallica. It was one that, uh, that Alec B. requested in the Discord. The problem is they can't get the, the, uh, the sound scooped enough. They've been complaining about it. Should try to get that like sort of low end excursion that they have. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of Hawaiian shirts. I just dug them all out. It's tired of wearing t-shirts. But um, a little more loose. They're more kind of pillowy. They make me look even fatter than I am, but still they're a little more comfortable. Can even unbutton the top button. Be real loose and casual. I mean, that's actually part of the key, though. That that scoop, you know, where you have the the bass boost in particular, and you're pulling all of the mids out, all the upper mids out. But um, when you palm mute, especially when you come off the palm mute, you get that little you get that little bit of speaker excursion, like that little bit of hump, hump, hump when you're listening to the recording. <laughs> Helps to be at higher volume too, but can't quite get. My kingdom for a, a, at least a, a six-band graphic EQ, but, you know. Because if you have six bands, you can scoop all the mids. You can have both of the sliders in the middle all the way down. I think the, uh, the, Mark, the actual Mark series is five-band. Which, if you ever look at the old VHTs or Fryettes, I think they have a six-band graphic EQ specifically because he wanted to have one more band than Mesa. Just because. actually get even more gain. <laughs> At this point, it's almost fuzz. saturation. Also, I forgot to say welcome back to the stream ride. What's up? What's up, wee baby? The thing is, once we got this much saturation, we kind of lose our edge. It's a little closer. Uh, it's just practice, man.
You know, you start off start off just with regular alternate picking. Or just start on an open string, you know, in case of most of this metal stuff. You know, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three and a four and a one e and two e and three and four and You know, if you can get the pick motion, like the tip of the pick, if you can get that motion small enough, you can move, you know, ludicrously quickly with very, very, very little effort. <laughs> the real trick, like the difficulty is like, probably the hardest thing so far in this song to get right is just the open string riff at the very beginning uh, because it's using quick picking but it's breaking it up into little patterns you know little syncopated patterns and stuff like that and actually getting that level of control to where you can start hearing like okay this is how I get this motion yeah pretty much that's that's the, that's the case with the majority of, of Metallica songs really you know to actually subdivide that consistently you know get it to where you can do it every single time that's the real challenge in songs like this for the most part if you work at it getting the picking speed is not really that bad Same thing again. Don't. Then we got some pull offs. Back it up. Then there's a bum, 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 bum. All right. So then we got a minor third. So that would be like seven on the A string, five on the D string. And it sounds like we're pulling off like five, five, three, two, maybe. with all these kind of this little syncopation. Some more. 
Hey, Alec, guess what scale the solo uses? truly 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 is the major blues no but uh it's the g major blues aka the e minor blues scale and in true kirk fashion it's all in like one little box here at least at first But thanks for hanging out, man. If you're crashing, if you're going to bed. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting, man. Well, you know, he could do he could definitely do different things. I mean, you listen to a lot of the solos on Justice and they're less blues scale. Um, but it's like after that, he just completely forgot. Yeah, they're they're comfortably like the most composed and and kind of interesting things that he ever really did. Uh, let's see. So A little bit of minor scale there. Hey, threw in a little arpeggio. He's getting brave. He's getting brave. All right, so let's see. Doodle 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 All right, I guess I should ask, because the solo is really long. Do we want to do the solo? Or since Alex going to bed, do we want to do a different tune? What y'all think? So we can do the whole thing. I don't mind. <laughs> See if I can remember it. Ah, close. <laughs> I 
kind of remember it. Lots of hammers and pull-offs thing. Jumps way up here. Arms getting sweaty. dropped from like 11 to 7 viewers we had 11 viewers for like a steady probably five like seven or ten minutes probably then all of a sudden we dropped to seven was Alec just watching on like four different accounts Cat scared everybody away. The only thing that ever like sort of that, you know, and this is something you guys will have to, to tell me what you think. But the thing that I always feel weird if I'm doing like a solo in something like this kind of by itself and as I'm worried, it's going to be like really abrasive and annoying because, you know, it's, it's very meadly, meadly me, especially once we get up here. I like thrash. I like crossover thrash. Uh, like older death metal. And, uh, like some black metal stuff. Like some progressive metal stuff. You know, thrash and crossover thrash is probably what I'm most familiar with personally. That's most of the kind of stuff that I was into when I was a, when I was a kid. When I was like 15, 16. You know, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax those types of bands and, um, but also like a lot of like uh like grindcore and power violence and more extreme stuff too though we'd have to get into wacky tunings to play a lot of it you know, so like, 
of those songs. I know lots of cheesy 80s metal too, just because it's funny. Oh man, if Alec were still in here, you'd, you'd, you'd have to have an argument about when metal actually began. But yeah, a lot of like the new wave of British heavy metal stuff is fun. But let's see, so we got really long guitar solo. Do we have any different riffs afterwards? That part's super easy. That's just like a little arpeggio. Heck yeah, man. Some Sabbath would be... Nobody, I don't think anybody's ever actually requested any Sabbath. Some Sabbath would be fun to do. Got some death, got some mayhem, do some real black metal. Emperor, got some maiden. Did some maiden last time though, or in a recent stream anyway. Children of Bodom, come on now. Probably we can check it out. I was gonna let me let me listen through real quick and see if there are any more riffs to add here outside of the solo. Four. That's the same as before. That's the same as before. Same as before. That's the same as before. So starting to stack little harmonies. Mm -hmm. That's doing like little descending chromatic licks. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's hard to go back to go straight back from that into the up a half step. And then it plays the floor of So the riffs, the riffs aren't too bad. Solo is mostly just the blue scale. Second half starts getting into the the natural minor scale, and then a couple little arpeggios and things like that. But we can go back over the solo one day. It's the, it's the type of thing where we really probably want to take like a lot more time dedicated to just doing that. Rather than spending like a half hour on breaking down every little bit, and then me just going, hey, it's just a blues scale again. All right. What you making faces for, boy? That one face looks terrified. All right, what we got? Freezing Moon. Is that the one that he requested in the in the Discord? No, that's a different one. It's in the same album though. So we're gonna do this. We gotta go the opposite direction for the for the yeah. It's it's pretty much just opens. Uh, so right now we're scooped completely out. Like all our mids are scooped. For this, we got to try to go for the HM2 tone. We got to get a lot more mids, a lot less bass. Got to sound like we're playing through an AM radio or something. too because when we play with mids we actually cut pick up a lot of volume coming up from the A.
Not quite the right timing. Da 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 Same thing. Needing it. I wish I had an HM2 or an HM2 clone. So that's how you get that the kind of chainsaw tone that all these guys had. <laughs> Still doing the same thing. We get this minor third up here. So we get a first inversion of an E flat. So we have like this E minor third. So this is a half step down like a power chord on the seventh fret within the seventh fret on the E string on it. Sounds like a half step up.
You could actually play that all in the open air, open position too. You just play like the E here in the open G string to get the minor third. Then the E flat would be first one one three like that. Then we come up for the F. Just up to the third fret. I do like the sound of sliding up into the minor third though. Sound like they're tuned slightly below 442, so maybe like 432 or something like that. Because they're not playing perfect D's. <laughs> Alright, then we'll slow this part down to get the timing right. Sounds like he's just playing the tritone. So the first part is just a tritone. It's just E, B flat, E, back to B flat. Or you could play the B flat and E here. Or all in one string. Whichever you prefer, but the right hand is just steady tremolo picking. And it sounds like once the vocals start. Dude, how many faces do you have? You have got so many, so many emotes. And so then once we get into the verse, the rhythm changes a little bit. It's still steady tremolo picking. <laughs> so 
same notes but broken up a little bit different. Da 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 da. him work all right and there's a little harmony he starts to go into the power chord shape so Maybe it's just an octave. There's a little high note in there. Oh, it's actually a second guitar. It's a harmony. In the chorus there, same kind of pattern, same tritone pattern. But every other time, instead of going back down to low B flat, it goes to a high B flat. So you Distorted bass. <laughs> so you get a really slow pick scrape, or you can finger slide however you want to do it. This is just E to F. So it sounds like every third time maybe it it kind of double picks them.
Still doing that. solo coming in. So we're kind of bending up. minor pentatonic really at first, bidding up from like the 15th fret here, which is the minor seventh, up to the root, then coming down to the fifth. Minor six, come up to the root. That's a good play it there. It's really loose. It is mayhem, I guess, so. Harmonic minor descending. So if you don't know the harmonic minor scale, the harmonic minor scale is the natural minor, but with the seventh tone raised. So instead of, we get, so, it gives us that very kind of almost sinister, foreboding kind of sound compared to the natural. It's got a little more tension.
shifting back to like a pentatonic sort of sound. <laughs> Gotta remember to go straight into the root bend when we come down. That's super hard to hear, but it sounds like an inverted fifth. Moving up from, like, say, the B and E to the C and F. Ascending Phrygian type lick. So, <laughs> in a completely out of tune bend. <laughs> Woo, man, that's nasty. intentionally out of tune note. What note can I bend to be intentionally out of tune here to, to nail that? Oh, that works pretty well. Sounds like it picks up a little delay at that point, too. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's bending that minor third up to a major third. Trying to use it to go back into the blue scale. Mm. So 
So then we're ready. These are like little little arpeggios with little pull-offs at the top. And just moving them up a half step. back into Phrygian. And he kind of slops his way down the scale. And then starts to come all the way back up. some little pull off. I can't tell if it's a triplet. But he makes his way down. And then back up. And bends all jumps up to the 22nd and bends up to the high E at the very end. to E. F, E, F, E, F. Still E. All right, now we're back to... E, B flat. E, B flat. And yeah, we're still we're doing the we're doing the little alternating too, where like every other time you come through the high B flat.
So it sounds like on that very last one, when it comes up to the high E or the high B flat, it slides it down and half step and back up. So you. Yeah. Laying on the inlet. It's not too tough, aside from the difficulty of actually hearing some of the parts in the solo. Heck yeah, dude. Merciful fate. Man. Corpse without a soul. Oh, man. Give me a second. I'm going to change. I'm going to change to the Parker. I'm going to change to something a little, maybe a little lighter weight. It's starting to get my shoulder. Thanks, guys. This guitar is pretty, actually surprisingly heavy for an Ibanez. In case we need the Floyd Rose. Parker, this guitar weighs like literally half of what that one does. So start off with an A power chord, and then drop down to F sharp. Let's bring the tone down a little. Like a little chromatic lift. if he's bending that up and letting it come down slightly. Touch. So 
It sounds almost like a diminished thing, like he's walking up the diminished scale. <laughs> up a whole step above the root. That's interesting. shift to sounds like C sharp minor let's get that back in regular speed so you can hear the phrasing So you got a little bit of minor, a little bit of harmonic minor, a little bit of blues scale. Right, then it shifts into Phrygian dominant. Phrygian dominant is like the Phrygian mode, but with a major third. So we start off with this kind of like blues scale, then come down natural minor. Then we start to come back up. to make our way back up. Let's see if we can get that exact phrase there where we make that transition.
So it's just really, really, really brief. So we come, we start to come down. So we start to slow down as we come back down. See you, Jimmy. Hey, give me a call sometime. Stuff going on. Thanks for hanging out, though. So we're just coming up to C-sharp minor scale. So... Tell him I know. I know. So yeah, we're just coming straight up to C sharp minor scale. So let's see.
we're coming up into like an oblique bend. Smoke on the water. <laughs> Smoke on the water is not too tough, relatively speaking. But let's see. We're working on uh, we're working on Merciful Fate tune. Got this big solo right at the beginning. Let's see. No problem, dude. If you enjoyed that, hit the follow button. Because we uh, we stream guitar stuff three times a week, all different kinds of stuff, different theme nights, all sorts of things. Take requests. Have a whole Discord for taking requests. Drop the Discord in ye old chat. Thank you so much for that follow. Every little bit helps. But uh, if you jump in the Discord, you can see like tonight's Metal Monday. We're doing all metal and hard rock stuff. There's a channel for requesting stuff for that. There's a channel for requesting stuff for Jazz Night. Channel this Wednesday will be Weeb Wednesday where we do video game themes and anime themes, J Rock, basically anything like vaguely Japanese related because we get a bunch of video game theme requests, that kind of stuff, and anime themes. But, uh, and this coming Friday will be Anything Goes, Free For All Friday. So, got a whole little community we're building here. All right, let's see. pulling that off the side of the fingerboard it sounds almost like a big jump that you get when you 
slide the finger off the side of the neck, or slide the string off the side of the neck. Rather than... be a tap too I guess then down to sounds like a C, a C sharp or no a C, a C blues case weird comes down and lands on that a there so then we kick into the riff actually a pretty involved solo that's sort of surprising This is a merciful fate, a corpse without a soul, as requested by uh, Wee Baby. down the pentatonic. Winds up on that low G.
do that? And the second time we start to get this cascaded riff. Open D or if it's fifth fret. Hey, right, thanks for the follow. Is that if I can read your name? Evoon Baboon. <laughs> So when it gets down to the C, it sounds like it stops. Would be the best fingering for it. slightly different once this verse part actually kicks in. We should probably go to our, well, we should probably go to the crunch channel rather than the lead channel for this tone anyway. Let's see, let's slow that down a little bit, see if we can hear that exact little phrase. Yeah, I play I play bass. I play we play bass occasionally on stream. I play banjo. I play mandolin. Uh, pretty much every variety of ukulele. Um, I play the dobro and Hawaiian guitar. Play basically pretty practically anything with with strings on it. We've gotten the banjo and some other stuff out on stream before. <laughs> Guitar just seems like the the most accessible, but you know, but, um, we can certainly do we can certainly do other instruments on on different nights and stuff like that. This Friday will be a good one because basically we can it's free for all Friday. Any requests, any style of music, any questions, music or theory or guitar related, up for grabs. Now this channel's a lot louder than the uh, lead channel, surprisingly.
King coming in. All right, so this is all basically just like the A minor pentatonic scale. Right? Winding up, sounds like we're landing on that. Keep wanting to land on the root, gotta land on the seven. Slightly different variation. We're losing the double stop once the vocals come in. And then a slight little variation there. And we're pretty much back into the main again. Let's get the timing right. of that too. Dum 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 
So this is just sliding up from D to E. We have a little like two guitar harmony. Let's drop down to like a C minor sound. sounds almost like the C is staying static underneath and we're kind of changing the little dyads on top.
All right, so then we have that C section again. Then we're going to jump up into something quicker. The basic outline. Then we start to get a little harmony added in. So it's going down to C, actually. C, D, C, G. So we come up to a B. Got some B minor blues scale and B natural minor scale. down to the A, A minor. Thank you. 
So after that. <laughs> Then back into that phrase again from the beginning. So that's it. That's just straight pentatonics playing like these little stacked groups of three. Yeah, it, can't, it changes keys a ton. For the most part, the scales it tends to use like one or two scales, like the minor blues slash minor pentatonic and then the natural minor. There's a little bit of a couple other things, like that diminished scale at the beginning at, uh, and then that little Phrygian dominant bit, but they're relatively brief. But yeah, it does, it keeps jumping back and forth, like little whole step jumps, half step jumps, at, uh, relative major to minor jumps. <laughs> Then we're back to that main riff. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be, wouldn't have King Diamond on it if if there wasn't Satan being screamed at some point. Satan! So then we get that again. <laughs> It changes the double hit on the F or double hit on the G? Double hit on the G. You can also play that up here. That little variation goes G, C, G. Not quite clean enough. Not perfect. Still going. Go 
Now we get a totally different key change. All right. Yeah, so last time. This one is like got a whole extra set of notes in it, so. It's got a little single note thing at the beginning, too. Guitar harmony. Woo, that's a weird. totally out of keynote again. <laughs> Sounds almost like that leading tone there. Thank you. 
then another keychain. That's all pretty much just the C sharp minor blue. Then a change to the key of G from C sharp minor. What? Change to D. So I have big descending like super chromatic lick coming all the way down from this high F sharp and then now we're back to B starts to come up the B scale. <laughs> He's starting to pull off from the scale tones to the open B string. <laughs> It sounds like it's, this is actually like the B mixolydian pentatonic, which is like this. Might even nail that high, that high B way up there on top of it too. Or it could tap it, I guess. If we had 24 frets, I don't know what guitar he's playing on. Then back into sort of a Phrygian sound.
and then drops down into blues scale. So. <laughs> Taking his time. Can't hit that note. Whew, good God. Whoop, autoplay. Many, 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 many notes. Oh, man. All right. We've been going for over three hours. I'm getting pretty toasty here. And, uh, sweating like a pig. I don't know if pigs actually sweat, but sweating like one if they do. All right, dudes. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for those, those new follows we got. Uh, keep an eye out should be be upgrading stuff upgrading camera upgrading hopefully the computer once i get it laid out because we got uh if you weren't, weren't here at the beginning of the stream we had a really significant anonymous donation or from someone that prefers to rem remain anonymous to help uh help upgrade the gear for the stream and, uh, so we're going to be upgrading our stuff should have better video better processing better audio maybe the ability to, to do like recording actually like recording software and stuff record tracks while we stream, you know, all kinds of crazy things. Do multicam, hopefully. But, um, should be pretty awesome once we once we decide like what we're actually gonna actually gonna like buy and fix up and hook up and everything. But uh, thanks so much everybody for hanging out. Thanks for the requests. I always love stuff that, that I can kind of like push myself with on the fly like that. But. Uh, I always like some King Diamond anyway, some merc Merciful Fate. How many dole bells told for thee? You know, that's actually a, something like a GoPro, at least, if not a GoPro itself. We're going to have to look and see. You know, a big thing to budget is like the main camera, the main camera upgrade, which needs to be, you know, like a DSLR or a mirrorless of some kind, you know, like a legit camera. Uh, and then the computer. Then from there, you know, for the secondary cameras, there's lots of ways we can do that. You know, there are GoPros, there are like portable webcams, like all kinds of stuff. So we're going to look at the different options as far as that goes. Um, we want to have, you know, one that is like just like guitar in hands, pretty much. So you have like a close up of, of both hands at least while we're playing stuff. And then maybe another one, you know, you can get GoPros that, that like people will clip them onto the headstock up here. This guitar doesn't really have much of a headstock, but you can clip them on this way and it looks down the strings, which is useful for seeing certain types of things, like certain types of finger positions and picking stuff. Uh, the advantage with the GoPro would be is, you know, I could mount it to like a headband or a hat or something and we could do, I was talking about doing like modifications, restrings, setups, repair, you know, general guitar maintenance and like mechanical and technical work, doing streams of that. If I could have a GoPro on my head, I could just look down and, you know, have the camera that way rather than having to set one up, like rig one up somehow to shoot down onto the bench. But it's gonna really open up some, really open up some options to us. And I was also asking, you know, Anybody, if you're in the Discord, jump in the Discord and start dropping out more ideas for streams because we've got kind of our basic layout, you know, how we've been doing stuff. Metal Monday, Weeb Wednesday, Free For All Friday, then Music Theory Monday, uh, Washed Out Wednesday, and, fr and Friday Night Jazz. Uh, but I think it's time we can start throwing in some, like, special streams, either some one-offs or maybe some new themes, you know, doing, like, 80s Night or 80s Week or 90s Night, because I know 8 million 90s alt-rock songs, because that was stuff that I grew up with, um, you know, or have a night that's all bass or have a night that's all acoustic stuff. We hardly ever play acoustic guitar on here, uh, you know, but we can play acoustic. We could do folk music, do folk music Fridays, at, uh, along with banjo and other stuff like that other instruments you know we can have nights dedicated to like just technique just exercises like 
just scales, just dexterity exercises, you know, just stuff for the hands to do. Because I can write all of that out. I can tab all of that out and put the charts in the Discord for everybody to download. One of the guys in the Discord mentioned doing, like, the entire soundtrack for a game, like one of the Grand Theft Auto games, I think it was. You know, or we could have nights where we do a single song all the way through in detail, you know, where we do every little piece of a song. You know, rather than kind of just playing through it like we're doing now, like actually breaking it down and getting all the parts, you know. Like, there's so many options, but I would like kind of thoughts from thoughts from you guys. So what kind of things you would like to see beyond just, you know, the request for the various theme nights and stuff that we're doing. Different themes or topics of discussion or whatever. So if you're in the Discord, and I know you are, jump in there and drop some ideas. Again, I'll drop the Discord link for anybody not in there. But, uh, but I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for the requests. The more people we have chatting, the more kind of alive the stream is. You know, the more fun it is for me, and, uh, and the more kind of more stuff we can do, basically, instead of it just being me sitting here noodling. But, uh, the more reactive it can be, and that, that's really the enjoyable part of it. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Remember, stop back by uh, Wednesday. is going to be Weeb Wednesday. So, again, video game, anime themes, J-Rock, that kind of stuff. Drop your requests in the channel in the ye old Discord. I don't know, dude. I'm too hot to eat. I'm too hot to eat ramen, man. I'm going to eat something cold. Stop by Wednesday for Weeb Wednesday. And I'll see y'all. Dude, I wish I had like cold, cold udon or soba. Yeah, oh man, that'd be nice. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks, Wee Baby. Thanks, Kaz, for hanging out. Thanks, Hype, for hanging out, sticking with it. All right. I'm out.